for the Sooners as Oklahoma will be facing Olivia Sinat, who they faced last year when Abilene Christian came to Norman. That's the starting lineups presented by OU College of Professional and Continuing Studies, bringing the Sooner family to you wherever you are. Degrees online, on site, on your schedule. In their all-black uniforms, Abilene Christian is ready, and the first pitch of the day to Jennings is on the inside corner for a strike. 11 a.m. straight up. Great job by the Game Ops crew here in El Paso. Getting this game started right on time. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Jennings takes a ball that looked to be a little up. One ball, one strike. Our pregame show had been brought to you by Schwami, the official hot dog and brat partner of OU Softball. One ball, one strike count to Jennings. Off speed, hammered in the left center field. It's a base hit. It'll get all the way to the wall. Jennings on her way to second. The throw is going to make it close. No, Jennings slides in as the ball pops away from Alani, the second baseman. And T.R.A. Jennings is off to a fiery start again today. A double that Number raced past the, the center fielder, Grace 8 air. Lyons. And here's Grace Lyons. Four home runs in her first two games, a team leading nine RBIs for Lions, including, including a first inning grand slam last night against Abilene Christian. And she is our player to watch, presented by OU Health. The first pitch just misses low. As we mentioned, Lions, five for her first seven. Has scored five runs. Four of those five hits have been home runs and nine RBIs. And she's moved all the way up to the second slot in the lineup. Here's the 1-0. Shows a bunt, and it's a beauty. The only play is going to be the first, and she'll beat it out. How about that? Four home runs in her first seven at-bats, and she lays down a bunt single, and the Number Sooners nine. have runners Kinsey. at the corner. Hansen. For Kinsey Hansen. Player to watch, Grace Lyons. Brought to you by OU Health. The future of health is here. The OU College of Professional and Continuing Studies. Bringing the Sooner family to you wherever you are. Degrees online, on site, on your schedule. Well, Kinsey Hansen had herself a day. As did most Sooner hitters. And she takes the first pitch for a strike. The sophomore... I guess we'll at some point really get into the debate throughout the season as to what year certain players are. <laughs> but Kinsey is listed as a sophomore. Out of Norco, California by way of Norco High School. Takes the 0-1 pitch just a little low and off the outer edge. One ball, one strike. Hit two home runs yesterday. And boy, that's going to trigger a very early trip to the circle for Abilene Christian. The Sooners will huddle up around Patty Gasso in her 27th season in the third base coach's box. Jen Rocha back in the first base coach's box today. You know, we were, we were talking about this a lot. That was the debut in her first three seasons for Jen Rocha yesterday as the first base coach. Not a bad way to start things out. Whenever the team scores 38 runs in two, day, in two games. Meeting at the circle is over. Abigail Farler, the second-year head coach of Abilene Christian. Her staff includes Jessica Twaddle and Katie Reeves. Twaddle, their pitching coach. Sam Woodley, their grad assistant. And that meeting is over with the count of ball and a strike to Kinsey Hanson. We mentioned the big day. Two home runs, three RBIs for Hanson yesterday. Every ball she hit was so hard. 1-1. One, one. There's a hard-hit ball foul. Down the right side and out of play. Look out in the bullpen. Macy McAdoo was throwing in the pin under the watchful eye of Baylor Boyd. Traveling with the team again this season. Brooke Vestal keeping an eye on the rock steps that protect the bullpen from the field of play. Here's the 1-2 pitch to Hanson. A little slow roller to short. This will score a run. They'll cut down the lead runner, but Hanson beats it out at first. So OU jumps on top 1-0 on the fielder's choice by Kinsey Hansen as Lyons is retired at second. And there's one away for Jocelyn Allo. Number 78, the left fielder, Jocelyn Allo. 
Alo rides a 16 game hitting streak that carried over from last year. And extended that hitting streak in her last at bat yesterday in the second game against Abilene Christian on a no doubter to center field. It popped foul down the right side again towards that sooner bullpen. Mala with her two home runs yesterday. Continue to add to that impressive career total. She now has 56 home runs. And 154 RBIs. Takes this pitch up and in. Count as a ball and a strike. There's one out. We're in the top of the first inning. Sooners already on top 1-0 on the fielder's choice by Kenzie Hansen, who stands at first base. The pitch. Hard hit ball to right field. That's going to get to the wall. No. Cut off. Hansen won't stop at second. She'll head to third and slide in safely. Alo's going to take second, or is she? No. She's tagged out. Heads up play by Belch. She saw Alo trying to take the extra bag, and they cut her down at second. So there's two outs, and the Sooners will be down to their last out in the first, and it's Taylor Number Snow. Five. Both runners Taylor lost on the base pass. Snow. Again, you can question the decision by Alo there, but, I mean, Patty Gass will say she wants her base runners to be aggressive, and Jocelyn felt like she had a good beat there. Smart play by Belch, the third baseman, to get her. Here's Snow. First pitch she takes, and it's a little out for ball one. It's a storyline we'll follow a lot involving Taylor Snow early in the season. And it's her move from everyday second baseman to starting outfielder slash DP. She's in that designated player's role here. And she hits one deep to center field, but not deep enough. Adair is under it, and the inning is over. G. Juarez takes to the circle. Pitched four shutout innings yesterday. I think I just gave her an extra inning, didn't I? It's three shutout innings. No, four. Pardon me. That's right. Give her proper credit. I'm not. I'm trying to short Juarez an inning as she throws the first pitch to Shaylee Alani in for a strike. Four innings didn't allow a hit or a run. Nope, three. Nicole May had four. I'll get it right one of these days. Three innings yesterday for Juarez. Olivia Range was good for two innings as the 0-1 pitch is fouled back. Just kind of give that quick breakdown. May went four innings in the nightcap to beat Abilene Christian. Juarez went three innings in the first game against UTEP. Neither one of the starters, neither starting pitcher for the Sooners allowed a hit yesterday. And the only base runner came on a walk. The 0-2 fouled back. Reigns and McAdoo came in in relief. Olivia, two innings, allowed a couple of hits, no runs, struck out three. McAdoo, in an inning, allowed one hit and struck out two. Now we are all on the same page. Here's the 0-2 pitch from Morris to the left-handed hitting Alani. Swing and a miss. Strike three. She pulled the string on a nasty off speed, and there's one away. Juarez strikeout number seven on the season. And here's Caitlin Belch. Caitlin Belch, the third baseman. Abilene Christian won its game over UTEP yesterday as the first pitch is low for a ball. And then, of course, the Sooners taking care of business 9-0 last night. Keep saying last night for a 4 o'clock start yesterday afternoon. Though we did get started about an hour late for that game between the Sooners and the Wildcats. The 1-0 pitch, nice spot, strike one. Abilene Christian beat UTEP 13-6. So the Miners, who were key in making this invitational happen, still looking for their first win. Juarez misses on the 1-1 high, two balls and a strike. It's a rarity with G falling behind a hitter. Two balls and a strike. 
Still no win to speak of here in El Paso. That's popped up the netting behind home plate, 2-2. A little overcast here to start the day. I mentioned temperatures climbing towards the 60. You see McAdoo is still working in the Sooner pin. will be interesting to see what the plan is from Jen Roach and Patty Gasso. How many innings they want to get out of Juarez today. The 2-2 just misses outside 3-2. Anna John starting at third, Grace Lyons at short, Tiari Jennings at second, Kinsey Hansen at first, Lindsey Elam behind the plate on the Sooner infield. 3-2 pitch. Missed high, first walk of the season for Morris. And Belch is aboard. And this is Samantha Bradley. Number 33, the designated hitter. Samantha Bradley. Wanted to make sure, double check that yesterday, they, Abilene Christian dropped their freshman pitcher Riley White into this spot and pushed their DH into the flex spot right before first pitch as the first pitch from Juarez is pure filth, swing and a miss, strike one. But indeed, this is the designated hitter Samantha Bradley, the senior. A one pitch from Juarez. Swing and a miss, strike two. Elam fakes a throw behind the runner, Belch, at first, who gets back. Bradley can also throw when called upon. Saw her a little bit late last night. The 0-2 pitch. Just straight gas right down the middle. Cold strike three, two away. And Bradley was completely frozen. Number 19, the first baseman, Callie Burris. There's Burris, Callie Burris, their first baseman. The one thing that stays undefeated is the massive amounts and piles of paper that I keep after games. I don't know why. I have two sets of game notes. First pitch is on the inside corner for a strike. Last night, Burris went 0 for 2 with a strikeout. The only hit that Abilene Christian was able to put on the board came in the fifth inning. That was from Val Rudd, who waits on deck. Swing and a miss for the lefty, and Juarez has worked ahead of the count. No balls and two strikes. Burris digs back in, the senior out of Haltom, Texas. War has a head on the count, no balls and two strikes, and she steps off. 17 starts in 19 games last year for Burris. 3.08 batting average. 0-2 pitch. Grounded towards second. Tough hop for Jennings, who makes a nice play as she backed up on it, took the short hop, and throws Burris out at first. Jada Coleman will lead things off in the second inning for Oklahoma in the minor classic. The Sooners leaded 1-0, scoring off against Abilene Christian. The Sooners beat Abilene last night 9-0. And Jada Coleman again continued to impress. Here's the first pitch to the Colony product who takes it low for ball one. This is a player who comes in as, as talked about and as... Hyped is just about any prospect we've seen in the Oklahoma uniform. And so far, she has delivered. The 1 0 pitch is an off speed, and Coleman takes for a strike. Four for five in her debut against UTEP. With two doubles, a single, and a home run. Drove in a couple of runs. Now, they only gave her credit for one double. So I got to make sure to not get too carried away here as the 1 1 pitch misses up. I think she advanced to second on a throw, so that might be the Chris Plank scoring system of, well, she's on second. It's a double. <laughs> Two balls and a strike to Coleman. The pitch. Faked a little show of a bunt and takes it low, three and one. The nightcap, Coleman was one for two with a run scored and two RBIs, another extra base hit, so 
two doubles of her, or I should say three extra base hits of her first five hits. Not bad. 3-1. Takes a strike. I think what's going to be most interesting about Coleman is her speed. She is versatile. She can do a little bit of everything. She stole a bag in the game against UTEP and did so rather easily. Here's the 3-2 to Coleman. Hit her. And that'll bring Lindsey Elam to the plate. Played umpire, talking to one of the Number minors ops the people catcher. behind home plate. Lizzie Elam. Don't know what that could be about, but Michael Aguirre takes his spot behind home plate, holds his hand up as Lindsey Elam gets ready to dig in. Bob Marcalis at first, Mike Montoya at third. Montoya was behind the plate last night for the Sooners. First pitch to Elam. Illegal pitch. I think it was going to be called a strike, but this is the third illegal pitch that we've had called on a Sooner opponent. Happened twice against UTEP yesterday. And then they get Sinat for it, or Sinat for it there. I'm old enough to remember when the illegal pitch gave you an extra base. <laughs> the rule that changed in what, the offseason of 16 into 17? Here's the 1-0. Hard hit ball towards short. Could be two. No way they're even getting Coleman at second. No way they're getting Elam at first. She beat it out. Well, there's the speed of Jada Coleman. That was a hard hit ball to the shortstop Rudd, who didn't bobble it, who just quickly flipped it to second, Number 20, and he didn't have a chance. Here's Jana Johns. Johns is going to be fun to follow this season. This whole team's going to be fun to follow this season. But to watch the progression of the South Carolina transfer, who hits the first pitch hard to short, they'll go to third. Coleman didn't have an option, so they'll force her out there. But that will be the third sooner to reach on a fielder's choice in the first inning and a third. Elam safely gets to second. Fielder, number 11, Nicole Mendez. And now Nicole Mendez will bat with runners at first and second. Mindy was all smiles this morning after being back with the team in a season opener. It's last year's season opener as she rehabbed from an injury. First pitch has popped up on the infield. Easy play made by Belch, and there's two away. Sooners have been attacking early. But don't have much to show for it yet. Here's T.R.A. Jennings. She doubled and scored the only Sooner run of the game. Oklahoma leads it 1-0. We're in the top of the second inning, but the Sooners threatening here with runners at first and second. Jennings digs in. Will she attack or maybe take a few pitches here? Takes the first one, little low and in, ball one. You haven't had a chance to dig into Tiare Jennings' resume. It's impressive. Out of San Pedro, California, by way of St. Anthony's High School. Her senior season, which was shortened due to COVID, she hit 7-10 with six home runs. She's almost matched her high school senior season home run total in two games. Had four here yesterday. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Jennings takes it for a strike. Gatorade Softball Player of the Year for the state of California. It's a member of the Bat Busters, which has given us so many great Sooners. The OC Bat Busters. Nicole May and Zeta Puni also on that team. The 1-1. Just misses out, 2-1. and one. St. Puni is not on the trip with the Sooners, but we'll see a lot of her throughout the year.
her high school batting average was 581 with 16 home runs. Here's the 2-1 pitch to Jennings. That ball's hit pretty well and deep to center field. Get out of here. It's gone. Tiari Jennings with a laser over the center field wall. Give the freshman five home runs in her first three games in a Sooner uniform. And that was a no doubter. Oklahoma jumps on top 4-0 on the three-run bomb from Tiara Jennings. Now batting number three, Grace Lyons. And here's Grace Lyons. Home runs this season for the Sooners are brought to you by Whataburger. It's your Whataburger favorites without leaving the driver's seat. Try curbside pickup available 7A to 11P. Just download the Whataburger app to get started. And there's another. That's a double meat with cheese. Grace Lyons over the left field wall. What a size, that bad boy. It's another home run for the Sooners. And it's Grace Lyons again. Wow. Grace Lyons, her fifth home run of the season, says, all right, T.R.A. Jennings, you're going to take the team lead with five home runs. I'll match you. Number nine, Kenzie Henson. Five zero Sooners. Grace Lyons is two for two with a home run. T.R.A. Jennings is two for two with a double and a home run. <laughs> First pitch to Hanson is up high for a ball. 18 home runs on the weekend for the Sooners. 13 in the opener, 3 against Abilene Christian, 2 already. And if my math is right, that's 18. Here's the 1-0. A little out. Two balls and no strikes to Hanson. Her last time up, she reached on a fielder's choice. I mean, both balls right off the bat, you knew it. Two balls, no strikes to Hanson. Time is called. Wasn't looking to see if that was Hanson getting the time call or if the catcher asked for it. Here's the 2-0 pitch to Kinsey. Little in. 3-0. Marita Hines is here today. She's sitting right in front of our broadcast location. and I mean, she knew it. As soon as that ball left the bat of T.R.A. Jennings and Grace Lyons, she had the fist pump going. Here's the 3-0 pitch to Hanson. In for a strike. A solo run in the first, a four-run second now, thanks to the three-run home run from Tiare Jennings and the back-to-backer by Grace Lyons. <laughs> Three balls and a strike. Patrick Dunn having to clip highlights is hilarious. Here's the pitch. Ooh, Hanson thought it was ball four, called a strike. Answered with a little look and a smile at the home plate umpire. Jocelyn Allo waits on deck, wants her shot this inning. There's two outs, and the bases are empty. Three balls, two strikes. The pitch. Hard hit ball foul towards the Abilene Christian dugout. Full count. Sinet brings it home. Hard hit ball to third. What a play by Belch to stay down on it. Throws across, and the inning is over. For the Sooners in the top but the, the Sooners on two hits. No use the long ball hits. again. And another two-out rally, if you will. A three-run home run from T.R.A. Jennings and a solo shot from Grace Lyons. We head to the bottom of the second. Oklahoma leads Abilene Christian 5-0.
Back to work for G. Juarez in the bottom of the second inning. Oklahoma leads it 5-0 to zero after back-to-back -back home runs. And the first pitch, Rudd swings and hits it foul down the right field line. That would have been trouble. And the first base umpire, Bob Marcalis, Marsalis was all over it. Tiari Jennings with a three-run shot. Grace Lyons with a three-run or a solo shot to back her up. Which means... The one and two hitters in the Sooners lineup today have a combined 10 home runs already through three games. Well, oh, one pitch is up high, one ball and one strike. Five runs on five hits for the Sooners. Bottom of the second inning, 5-0. Sooners lead it. Long look by Juarez to Jen Rocha, who's on the top step of the Sooner dugout calling pitches. Ball's hit pretty hard down the right side. Mendez giving chase, and she's just going to miss it in foul territory. Diving attempt by Mendez. It looked like she nearly crashed into the fence, but she's up. Tiara Jennings jogs out to check on her, and she's okay. I wouldn't say there's a ton of space in foul territory down the left and right field lines. I don't know what the angle is like that you guys are seeing on the camera broadcast camera broadcast uh, on our sooner sports TV broadcast but there's enough room to where you can get over there and make a play but it ends abruptly the fencing along the right side of the outfield one two pitch a little low kind of angles out towards right field and angles in towards left field, the fencing along the barrier that protects out of play from the field of play. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. G. Juarez climbed the ladder and got Rudd swinging. One away, third strike out of the game for Juarez. The award-winning retail store, the Jimmy Austin OU Golf Club, is open to the public. Caroline. Golfers yeah, and non-golfers are welcome. Best selection of OU polos, vests, and pullovers available anywhere. Come check us out. We're located on Constitution, just a few blocks east of the ballpark. The Jimmy, we encourage you to golf and shop like a champion. First pitch is swinging for Caroline at air. And she pops it foul into the Sooner dugout. The work in the Sooner bullpen has concluded as the wind... Starts to pick up a bit, pushing the minor flag towards right field as the one pitch catches the outer edge in the lower half of the strike zone. No balls and two strikes. Now that wind picks up a little bit more. The 0-2 pitch. Slow roller, cut off by Johns. Takes her time, throws to first, and gets her two away. John's made a sensational diving play. Game two last night. Threw out a wildcat runner from her knees. Here's Avery Millock, the catcher. Last help for the Wildcats here in the second, we hope. With two outs. 5-0 Sooners lead. Bottom of the second inning. First pitch from Juarez is a little in. Ball one. Sooners will fly out tomorrow morning. We get one, no, one more night in El Paso. And then we'll rejoin the wintry weather fun in Norman. Here's the 1 up. That's a nice pitch. It caught the inside corner. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Nice. On the inside corner again, called strike two. Sooners have positioned Coleman in center field, slightly shaded towards right center. Hollow well off the line and left. They don't anticipate Millock being able to pull one here. One two pitch misses up, two balls and two strikes.
2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. G. Juarez strikes out two in the second. She has struck out four in the game. And Oklahoma's pitching has been on point here in El Paso. We head to the third. Sooners in control. They lead Abilene Christian 5-0. This is Sooner softball from Learfield IMG College. Aslanalo leads things off for the Sooners in the top of the third. Oklahoma on top 5-0. First pitch to Alo is a little up, ball one. Jocelyn. Never listed down as a single her last time up, so that would extend the hitting streak. Make sure the official stats did. They did. She was forced out at second base, though, on the fielder's choice. She sits in the season, an impressive four for six with five RBI. She's ahead on the count, though, here. Two balls and no strikes to pitch. Hard hit ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's trouble, it's fair. And one hops the wall. They'll send Alo to second. She's on her horse, and she'll slide in safely. A leadoff double from Jocelyn Alo. Interesting because Patty Gasso had talked about potentially using Jocelyn in the leadoff spot. And just how versatile this lineup is, <laughs> Jossie grabbed two pieces of dirt, or two kind of handfuls of dirt, and dropped them at her side. Jossie looks comfortable leading off an inning. Here's Taylin Snow. Taylin, flat out to center field in the last inning, and the first pitch is in the dirt. Jocelyn's on her way to third. She'll uh, advance on the wild pitch. And now the sixth run of the game is just 60 feet away. Man, Snow has hit the ball hard. She's had some hard luck, though. One for her first nine on the season, but has scored three runs. There's a looper into center field. A diving attempt is missed by a deer. And that ball's still rolling to the wall. On her way to second, headed towards third. Is Neeters, Taylor Snow with a run scoring triple as a dare took the risk in center field. No reward. And Snow with an RBI triple is with the Sooners on top, 6 to 0. Jada Coleman. And here's Jada Coleman, was hit by a pitch her last time up. The freshman digs in with Lindsey Elam waiting on deck. Snow stands at third with nobody out the pitch. Wild pitch. Here comes Snow. She'll score. Ball hit her, though, as it was thrown to the pitcher, Sanat covering. She looks like she's going to be okay as she jogs back towards the dugout. And Oklahoma has jumped on top 7-0, and we're going to have a meeting at the circle and everyone that, there's the black and purple on the infield. Along with, let's see, who is, I believe that is their head coach, Abigail Farler, who has made her way out to try to calm everyone down. Hey, it gives us a chance to check in with you. The best way to stay in touch with the broadcast booth is to hit us up on Twitter. That's at OU on the air. That's at OU on the air. Michael, using our form to say happy Valentine's Day to his wife, Jessica, in Blackwell. Lake Fork Sooner checking in from Yantis, Texas. Oh, let's go, Kayla Hargis, in Hereford, Texas, on a cold day. My guy, Kelly, from Perry, Florida. Carrie Ly I'm sorry. And Kara Carolines has checked in from Boston. Trey Linda Kerr in Moore, along with C. Mills in Guthrie. Sinbad in Sevierville, Tennessee. Cowboy Sooner has checked in a balmy 13 below zero in Aberdeen, South, Car uh, South Dakota. Quit complaining about the weather, y'all. OU Birmingham Club has checked in. And our buddy Mark Worley at the Casa del Sooner watching the Sooners. Almost like we've restarted the inning here with the Sooners on top 7-0 as Jada Coleman digs in with the bases empty and nobody out. Two runs already in the first pitch. A bunt that rolls just foul. 
Jimmy Akers, I think, was first in this morning in Duncan, Oklahoma. Right, so it's exciting to see all the young players stepping up as well as seeing Mendez having success after her injury. You won't find a more positive mindset than what Nicole Mendez brings to the field. Here's the 1-1 pitch to Jada Coleman. How back. Jeremy's in Muskogee, Miss Jane Jetson in Chile, Dallas. The show rolls on today as the games continue. Let us know where you're listening from. We'll check in as time abides. The one-two pitch. Coleman's ready. Snot brings it home. She reached and popped it foul. Hey, John May listening in while working from home in Yukon. He worked, of course, with Mustang Broncos softball, so he's all about seeing Mackenzie Donahue hit her bomb yesterday. Val has checked in from Norman and the folks over at the In the Circle softball podcast as well. One-two pitch, but the home plate umpire is... Really being uh, generous about granting timeouts here. Love to see it. One ball, two strikes. 7-0 Sooners, top of the third. The pitch. All two missed up. And, of course, a big-time birthday shout-out to Katie Cotta, who's listening in in Norman. Happy birthday, Katie. Thanks for following along all day on Sooner Softball. Here's the 2-2 pitch to the Sooner freshman, Jada Coleman. Reaches again and pops it foul. I still have the weather app tuned to El Paso, so I am not about to change it to Norman anytime soon. I don't want to know. <laughs> two balls, two strikes. I said bad going here for Coleman, who stays alive again. Didn't get a chance to meet Jada's parents yesterday. Her mom and dad were here. Brought it up. Exceptional athletes themselves. I think from Dallas, it's like a 10-hour drive to El Paso. So kudos to them. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Coleman waits on it. Pops it up on the infield. A mile high for Rudd. She shades the sun with her glove and makes the catch, and there's one away. And here's Lindsey Elam, the pride of Chickasha. Now batting number 22, Lindsey Elam. Elam had a good day yesterday. She didn't start the second game, but it went two for three in the opener. A couple runs scored in an RBI. They did give her credit for a triple. The first pitch misses outside, ball one. And when you think about where 2020 was headed pre-pandemic, she was in the midst of a career year. Nine home runs before the season was shut down. Here's the one up. Hard hit ball back up the middle. She sent it back to where it came from. And Elam with the base hit. Sooners have a runner aboard with one out, and that was a laser off the bat of the do I say senior? Senior out of Chickasha High School. In fact, my favorite note on Elam from last year, she'd hit nine home runs, which had already surpassed her career total in her previous 77 games through 24 games last season. That's how much of a tear she was on. First pitch to Johns is a strike. Gianna reached on a fielder's choice. And scored on the three-run home run by T.R.A. Jennings last inning. John's a senior out of Calhoun, Georgia, by way of South Carolina. Yo, one. Oh, that ball is ripped into the Abilene Christian bullpen. Look out. Before the season was cut short for the Gamecocks, like everyone else, Janet had started all 23 games for South Carolina. 
had a 302 batting average. During her sophomore season, she played all 57 games and started all 66 games her freshman year. You name it, at South Carolina, she was in the starting lineup. Here's the 0-2. There's a hard hit ball and pretty deep to right field, and it's gone! Gina Johns, her first home run as a Sooner. If the scoreboard hadn't been protected, it would have bounced off the Helen of Troy Field scoreboard, and for the first time, she airplanes into home plate in her Sooner career. It's 9-0 Sooners. It's their third home run of the game. Their 19th, right, home run of the weekend. Elam scored, and I think that's just about going to do it for Sinat. For Johns in her career, well, I'll have to dig a little bit for her South Carolina stats. Oh, we got him in the notes? Well, then I don't have to dig too terribly far. We're going to have a pitching change here. When she was at South Carolina, she'd hit 25 home runs. Her big home run season was her sophomore campaign when she had 15. But that is her first. And home runs all season long are brought to you by Whataburger. Get your Whataburger favorites without leaving the driver's seat. Just download the Whataburger app to get started. And we've got a pitching change. Brought to you by Love's Travel Stops. Clean places, friendly faces. And Abilene Christian will go with Samantha Bradley. Samantha Bradley. Bradley had been in the designated hitter's role. And she'll take over here in the circle for the Wildcats. Janet Johns with the opposite field power. What a start in 2021 for this Sooner offense. Let's tell you a little bit about the senior who is taking over the circle. Samantha Bradley. She threw five innings in the win over UTEP yesterday. Allowed 11 hits, five runs. Did walk five. And then last night was in the field. Went 0 for 2 at the plate against the combination of Nicole May and Macy McAdoo. So here's another start to the inning, if you will. Base is empty with one out. Bradley is in, and Nicole Mendez digs in. First pitch is a little up, ball one. We didn't see Bradley in the circle last year whenever... Abilene Christian came to Norman. As the 1-0 pitch is in for a strike. But she did finish with a 3.99 ERA. An overall record of 3-7. and seven. Considered a redshirt senior. The 1-1 pitch to another. Well, Nicole Mendez calls for time. Redshirt senior and Mindy. Bradley pitched a lot during her freshman season. She threw 143 innings during her freshman campaign. That off speed falls right in for a strike. One ball and two strikes. Actually, I should rephrase that. It was technically her sophomore season because she started her career with Louisiana Lafayette, transferred here in 18 and did not play. Sending out of the year of the transfer is the 1-2 pitch misses high. So her sophomore campaign, she threw a lot. 13 starts, led the team with 30 strikeouts and a 3.99 ERA. 
She's even up the count with Mendez here. 9-0 sooner lead the pitch. Bounce towards second. Nice play charging it by Alani to get the out. And there's two away here in the third. Number 23, Pierre Jennings. And here's T.R.A. Jennings. A three-run home run in the second. A double in the first. She scored the first sooner run. The RBI single by Allo. And she takes the first pitch a little up. Nine runs on nine hits for the Sooners. Three more home runs today, including the first of the season for Jana Johns. But it came with one out here in the third and finally chased the starter, Sinat. Here's the 1 0. This is outside. Two balls and no strikes. Jennings just looks so comfortable at the plate. And if you feel like I say that, it's a common theme with about every batter that walks into the batter's box right now, the 2-0. In for a strike, 2-1. and one. Lions waits on deck. Jennings digs back in. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Bounced over the head of the third baseman, belch down the line. It's a three-hit day for T.R.A. Jennings, and she's off to the races. It'll be a double with two outs in the third. She bounced it over the third baseman's head and never stopped running. Patty Gasso going to use a pinch runner here? Yes, she is. Looks like Mackenzie Donahue is going to pinch run here for T.R.A. Jennings. Here comes Mackenzie. So Donahue will pinch run. A runner at second with two outs for Grace Lyons. All right, let's see how this works, Rich. You mentioned I have to have a promo going or the weather or something. So I'll use this opportunity to remind you. The University of Oklahoma and Sooner Sports Properties would like to thank our concession partners. Coca-Cola, the Baked Bear, Community Coffee, Slim Chickens, and Schwa Meat. We'd like to thank our OU Community Outreach Partners as well. Landers Auto Group, Coca-Cola, and OU Health. The University of Oklahoma Athletics, one with you. Runner second, two outs. The pitch to Grace Lyons is in for a strike. Lions is two for two with a single and her sixth home run of the game. Did I say the game? Season. Season. Almost feels like sixth home run of the game. There's a hard hit ball bounced up on Belt. She stays on it, picks it up, throws to first, and gets the out. That one hopped Belch at third base, and she made a heck of a play to retire the sooner shortstop and into third. The Sooners do it again. They send eight batters to the plate. Hit another home run, a triple from Taylor Snow. Four more runs put on the board. We're in run rule territory as we head to the bottom of the third inning. Oklahoma 9, Abilene Christian 0. This is Sooner Softball from Learfield IMG College. Head to the bottom of the third inning. All Sooners so far it will be the 8, 9, and 1 hitters for Abilene Christian. Sooners lead it 9-0. Nine, nine runs on 10 hits. Three more home runs for the Sooners. Grace Lyons, T.R.A. Jennings, and Jana Johns with the bombs for the Sooners. Blake, Blakely Brookerson will lead it off. The lefty digs in. Sooners way in on the corners. And the first pitch from G. Warris is a strike. McKenzie Donahue stayed in the game. She's now at second base. Looks to be the only change for the Sooners. Oh, my, is Jada Coleman shallow in center field. Here's the 1-0 pitch. A little low, 2-0. This is kind of a tough matchup with Brookerson, who stands all of 4'11". With the senior out of 
from Passus, Texas. There's a strike. Four foot eleven, so it makes the strike zone a little bit more challenging. Well, she's done nothing but play in her opportunities as a member of the Wildcats. Two balls and a strike. Little soft slap to short. Quick play by Lions to throw across and get her. The Abilene Christian fans that are here can't believe it, but that was a big league play by a big league shortstop, and Grace Lyons won away. The left fielder, number 18, Lacey Johnson. Here's Lacey Johnson. And Patty Gasso, I think, is making sure that the Position changes are clarified with the home plate umpire. And the only change I see is Donahue at second. So, I think, didn't we have a situation a couple years ago? You guys can help refresh my memory. To where, I think maybe it was even when Kelsey was playing that uh, they hadn't officially re-entered a player. And they ended up making a play, and thus the out didn't count because they hadn't re-entered her. So Patty Gasso just making sure, or had not said that she's staying in the game. There's the first pitch to the nine-hole hitter, Lacey Johnson, and it's in for a strike. Lacey Johnson was one of my favorite reads. We talked about this a little bit during yesterday's game. From just everything that she accomplished whenever she was in high school. The 0-1 pitch, swing and a miss, 0-2. She was the, one of the few players that had a hit against the Sooners last year. She comes from an athletic family. Her dad played college football at Clemson. Her mom, Ebony, ran cross country at Abilene. She lettered in four sports. The 0-2 pitch, a little up. Won a state championship in softball, was a runner-up in basketball state. Mentioned she was the Shooting Clays state championship. She did a little bit of everything, did Lacey Johnson. She's behind here, 1-2, the pitch in the dirt. Good job by Elam to go block that. Just a sophomore for Johnson out of Marion, South Carolina. And the reason that her stats stood out to me is because she has one career home run. And that came last year against the Sooners. Here's the 2-2 pitch. A little up, 3-2. and two. Johnson steps back in. Even with the bag at first for Hanson, even with the bag at third for Johns. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Popped up, shallow right, racing out though is Donahue to make the catch. And that's the second out of the inning. And with two outs, turn the lineup over. Shaylee Alani checks in. She struck out in her first at bat. Alani from the left side of the plate. Juarez brings it home. In for a strike. Alani is sophomore. Kalua Kona, Hawaii. First team all-conference selection at Yavapai College. Transferred in from junior college. Bounces this one towards the Sooner dugout. We talked about the diverse athletes. When she was in high school, not only a softball standout, but on the bowling team, too. No balls and two strikes. Juarez brings it home to Alani. Pop foul, how to play down the left side. One of the rock piles beyond the batting cages slash bullpen that are down the left field line. 
Belch waits on deck. Sooners up 9-0. We're in the bottom of the third. The 0-2 pitch from Juarez. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Make it five Ks today for G. Juarez. And she's in absolute control. After a one-out walk to Belch in the first inning, she has retired eight straight. We head to the fourth. Oklahoma leads Abilene Christian 9-0. This is Sooner Softball from Learfield IMG College. Kinsey Hansen will lead things off for the Sooners in the fourth. Oklahoma leads it 9-0. Nine runs on ten hits for the Sooners. Abilene Christian has been held hitless so far. Hansen on the day, 0 for 2, reached on a fielder's choice in the first, grounded out to third in the second. Bradley took over last inning. The first pitch is loan in for a ball. Rebecca Pogue is checked in. So glad to have Sooner softball back. Listening today from Mustang for Reese's 13th birthday in quarantine. Happy birthday, Reese. I think most of us have had a quarantine birthday, unfortunately. A 1-0 pitch catches the top of the strike zone. I believe it's one ball, one strike. The scoreboard in the outfield has it as 0-1. Oh Here comes the 1-1. Hansen takes it high. There you go, two balls and a strike. But happy 13th, uh, 13th birthday, Reese. I hope you enjoy it to the max. And Jackie has checked in from a scrapbook retreat. Bob's working in Houston. That's part of the Mendez family. A 2-1 pitch. Good pitch. Just missed. And we're all ready to get back to our second big-time home event. I think I missed one thing last year. Riley Boone had checked in in right, in right field last inning and missed that with Mendez checking out as that ball's bounced foul. So just wanted to update that at least when we were trying to figure out the other substitution that had taken place and Patty Gasso was checking in. So a lasso product, Riley Boone out in right field. Thanks, Gala. Full count here to Kinsey Hansen. The pitch, hard hit ball, foul. Look out, Coach Gasso. Patty Gasso in her 27th season at Oklahoma. Four-time national champion, NFCA Hall of Famer. Jen Rocha over at first. I failed to ask Coach if this is going to be a permanent thing this year or if this is just until Sid returns. Romero, Senior Romero had been the Sooners' first base coach for most of last year. The 3-2 is an off-speed that's popped deep to left field. This could be trouble at the wall. Reaching up and making the play is the left fielder, Johnson. And she took a home run away from Hanson, and there's one away in the fourth. The left fielder, number 78, Jocelyn Allo. Allo digs in. She's two for two on the day. Boy, she looked good swinging the bat. And here's the first pitch to the sooner left fielder, Alo. Off speed, drops in for a strike. <laughs> those are those pitches that when you're watching it from either, I, I imagine, on the feed or in the stands or in the broadcast, you think, hit that thing a mile. <laughs> Tough one for Allo with the movement on that. She'll take strike one. Here's the 0-1. That ball hit a mile. Holy smokes, it's foul. I don't. Even, I didn't even see that thing land. <laughs> there is a kind of a rock pile, a few little kind of mountainous areas beyond the left field wall. And that thing never landed. 0-2 count here, though, to Allo. It was two for two with a double and a run score. She had a single, an RBI as well. Josh is, uh, Joss is ready. The 0-2 hitter. Tosses the bat, jogs down to first base. Bradley just lost that one. And hit her. So, Alo is at first with one out for Riley Boone. Boone. 
Boone's going to jog over and talk to Patty Gasol. Gives us an opportunity quickly to run through a few of you who have checked in. Jody is checking from Cleveland, Mississippi. Carson Miller is in Nowata today. Chuck Dunn, look, Chuck Dunn's on fire. Checking in for Norman. Chuck, we need a weather update. Ben Lee's in Frankfurt, Kentucky. J.C. Foster in Altus. Alex Peterson is in Hera today. Kay Levings watching along in Perry, Oklahoma. Asks a very important question. Can we have OU softball every day? I wish. Darla's enjoying the game in Newcastle, Oklahoma. What a day. We do have other games that we'll be keeping tabs on throughout the day. But let's brag about Riley Boone who digs in. Riley had a nice day yesterday, played in both games. Went one for three in the opener and scored a run. Hit the ball hard in the second game. Scored a run, 0 for 1. And takes the first pitch for a strike on the outside corner. I say this a lot about Riley. She was off to a torrid start last year before the knee injury on the incredible play in the outfield. In Mexico. 9-0 Sooners. 0-1 to Boone. Bounced foul. I'd like to see a race between Boone, Jada Coleman, and I don't know, who might be our third that we could throw in there. Don, who's pretty fast. I think the Sooner softball team could put together one heck of a 4-by-100-meter relay team if they wanted to. Run at first is Alo. The 0-2 pitch to Boone. Fouls it off her foot, I believe, as it rolls to the mound by the circle. Riley Boone, not only a standout softball player for the Owasso Rams, but could absolutely ball on the court, helping lead the Rams to the state championship in 2018. Here's the 0-2, a little up and away. And from what we learned today, apparently, apparently, Mama Boone, a big Elvis fan? I don't know. It's been thrown out there. Her brother Trevor, of course, with Oklahoma State and their baseball program. A very athletic family, and Riley... Behind on the count here, one ball and two strikes with the runner at first. Sooners up 9-0, the pitch. A little soft slap foul. Jada Coleman waits on deck. A run in the first, four runs in the second, four runs in the third. And it's 9-0 Sooners. And looking to add to that total. Pitch to Boone. Off-speed rip foul. Jen Rocha tried to make a play now. She wasn't messing around. Kind of shaking her head is Dane and Jackie Livingston. Give her a little grief from the Sooner dugout. Dane is the Sooner strength and conditioning coach. And you, know, you think about the challenges during a pandemic for the strength coaches to try to do what they typically do and properly social distance. It's, it's been a challenge. And to wear masks when you're working out, it's not easy. 1-2 to Boone. Bounce towards second. It's going to be a tough play with the speed of Boone. Throws. Just got her. Alo advances to second. There's two away. And here's Jada Coleman. Lindsey Elam waits on deck. Jada Coleman. Coleman was hit by a pitch on a 3-2 count in the second. Popped out to short in the third. First pitch to the left-handed hitting freshman is outside for a ball. Hollow stands at second. After getting hit by a pitch as well, two Sooners have been hit by a pitch today, and they're both involved here as Coleman takes the 1-0 outside. Two balls, no strikes. Two balls, no strikes. 
Long look in by Bradley. Now she brings it home, and it misses up 3-0. and They're playing Jada Coleman a little bit shaded towards right center. And the least eight air is in center. They're giving her the line down the left field line. Three balls, no strikes. Bradley brings it home. Missed with the off-speed ball, four. And here's Elam. Elam's one for two, has scored two runs, reached on a fielder's choice and scored on the three-run home run from Jennings in the second. Singled and scored a run in the third. And now she bats with runners at first and second and two outs in the top of the fourth with the Sooners on top 9-0. First pitch. A little up, ball one. Sooners have done a nice job of being selective against Abilene Christian. In last night's game, that was kind of the key early. For Oklahoma. They drew five walks. And then the bats just exploded. Well, thanks in part to a first inning grand slam. Here's the 1 0. Odd ricochet off the bat. Ooh. So would uh, well, third base umpire wants to see the ball to make sure after watching the way that thing came off the bat of Elam. Hadn't damaged it. Looks good. It says here, really, Poke has entered the chat for the 4 by 100 meter relay squad. Okay. Got you there, Poppy. So Pogue, Boone, Jada Coleman, and Donahue. I wonder how we'd do in college softball with that. Probably pretty good. 1-1 one, one to Elam. Ground ball to third. Bobble, still bobbling. Throws just in time to get Elam. Good job by Belch to stay with it. And the Sooners are retired, and they strand two in the fourth. The well, Sooners lead it 9-0. to zero, And we'll have a pitching change. Macy McAdoo game has will check in. Macy, Macy looked good when she came in yesterday. Coach Casso even mentioned it in our pregame show. Her second appearance of the season in an inning allowed just to hit and struck out two. Here's the new look of the Sooner infield. Kinsey Kelso is behind the plate. Lindsey Elam is at first. Mackenzie Donahue is at second. Short and third stays the same with Lions and Johns. Let's see, is Riley out in right? She is. Riley Boone is in right. Jada Coleman stays in center. And Nicole Mendez is in left. And the first pitch is low and in. So the Sooners have all left-handed throwers on the outfield. How about that? With Boone and right, Coleman in center, and Mendez out and left. And the first pitch is low for a ball. McAdoo's 1-0 pitch is high to Caitlin Belch. Two balls and no strikes. The Hawaii Sooner chapter is checked in. Levi. Levi Alo, Aloha from Hawaii. Boomer Sooner. Levi, let's, let's go hang loose in Hawaii. That might be the place. Let's catch a flight from El Paso to Hawaii because it doesn't look fun in Norman. The 2-0 pitch popped up behind home plate. Is there room for Kelso? There is, and she makes the catch. One away. In fact, I have to laugh this. Chuck checked in. He said 14 in snow in normal. Uh, Norman, zero wind chill. You all see if you can whip up and pick up a game or two out there. No fun here. <laughs> oh, that's great. One away on the pop out, and here's Samantha Bradley. Our Bradley. 9-0 Sooners, run rule territory. McAdoo brings the heat and misses a little up, ball one. Patty Gasso saw something, so she's going to jog out. Michael's checking in from El Dorado Hills, California, listening in. Appreciate everyone that's taken part in the broadcast today. Janet Davis in Florissant, Colorado. Nancy Alsup in Edmond, Oklahoma. Appreciate everyone being part of the broadcast today. Well, I, Coach Gasso goes to the circle to have a quick conversation with her entire infield. I want to remind you that Dr. Tim Shannon and Dr. Mark Revels at Orthodontics exclusively are proud to present the junior captain of the game. 
For info on how your child can become the next junior captain at an upcoming OU softball game, go to orthoexc.com. The Trails Golf Club in Norman, you'll experience everything you love about golf and more. Learn about spring membership specials and the advantages of belonging to a private club. Schedule a private tour today. I'll take you on that tour. Go to trailsgolf.com. Meeting is over. McAdoo stares in at Kelso. There's one out in the top or bottom of the fourth. First pitch swinging is fouled away by Bradley. Nine runs on ten hits for the Sooners. The big blow came in the second inning on a three-run home run by T.R.A. Jennings. And from that point for, for from that point, the Sooners never looked back. There's a pop-up in the left field. Mendez is under it. Takes a couple steps to her right, makes the catch. There's two away. Oklahoma Education Association and Landers Auto have teamed up with our OU athlete with OU Athletics this spring to recognize outstanding teachers in our classroom and communities. Visit okclassroomheroes.com to nominate your teacher to be honored at an OU sporting event and win catch prizes on behalf of Oklahoma Education Association and Landers Auto. All right, hold on. We've got a lineup issue. I don't know if there was confusion about who or whom was shifted where. You can kind of make out a little bit of the conversation between the umpire who is masked up and talking with Patty Gasso and Jen Rocha just outside the steps of the Sooner dugout. Now he's... Now home plate umpire Michael Aguirre is going to pull Bob Mar Salas in on this, or pardon me, Mike Montoya, third base umpire. So, let's see. Did the Sooners properly note a shift? All right, hold on. We're going to get the explanation now. Give me like a one or so. Well, we're getting the explanation of this at some point. But this long-time conversation, he says, let's play on. So whatever the concern was, it has been alleviated. <laughs> and there's going to stay one out. There should be two outs. What are we doing? Samantha Bradley is coming back in. Let's get the explanation here. Apparently, they had not... We brought this up with the lighter switch last uh, last inning, last half inning. So either they hadn't clarified where they had shifted Mendez or something, but Bradley's going to step back in. This time she grounds it to short. Lions will retire it. So what do the kids say? Ball don't lie. Instead of a fly out to left, it's a ground out to short. I... I will admit, and I know that sometimes people will really do their best to roast me on this. There's a lot of things whenever it comes to substitutions that I still will fumble and I'm still learning about. But the only thing I could think of is that Mendez wasn't in right field last inning because Riley Boone had checked in as the first pitch to Callie Burris as a strike. And whenever she came back out to play left field, they hadn't re-entered her as the left fielder. So since she had made the play to retire the batter, since she hadn't been checked back into the game, then that out doesn't count. The 0 1 pitch from McAdoo is in for a strike 0 2. And credit to Macy McAdoo for not only. Jenna Johns will lead things off for the Sooners in the fifth. Oklahoma leads it 9 0. Sooner softball presented in part by Slim Chickens, a proud sponsor of OU softball. Fueling hungry fans with a lineup of chicken tenders, wings, salads, and sandwiches. Slim Chickens, fresh, delicious chicken. Johns homered her last time up, and she just did it again. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it's long gone. Oh, baby, what a shot for Jana Johns, who points towards the bullpen in right field and has staked the Sooners to a 10-0 lead. Second home run of the day for Johns, fourth by Sooner hitters. Make that 20 on the weekend.
And here's Nicole Mendez. Don't know if we need to go a little bit more in depth as to why Samantha Bradley ended up getting another swing last inning. First pitch to Mendez is low for a ball. Because the Sooners hadn't officially re-entered Nicole Mendez and she made the play in left field that was the out. It's almost like it never happened. So Bradley got another swing and made the most of it. Did the Sooners, I should say, is the 1-0 pitch is low for a ball. 2 one. And but it, just be, it wouldn't just be one more swing. It's like the out never happened, so the count picks back up where it was. A dead ball situation, if you will. They hadn't re-entered the second baseman, and she made the play. Same thing would have happened. 1-1. One, one. A little up, 2-1. It's happened a few times. It's a rarity, but you know, when you're trying to make and get as many players involved as you can, that can happen. 3-0 is low ball four. Okay, so Nicole Mendez had about four different counts that were mentioned there. She was ahead in all of them, and she finally gets the walk. Here's Mackenzie Donahue, who was sitting for a TRA oh, Jennings. 12, Mackenzie Donahue. Jennings could still reenter, but with the Sooners up 10-0, that would seem unlikely. Jennings' day... Two doubles and a home run. Not bad. Donahue hit her first career home run last night. First pitch. Inside ball one. The fifth inning is presented by Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, no matter your favorite meal, it'll pair perfectly with the Coke. Coca-Cola, official partner of the Oklahoma Sooners. Mendez aboard at first after the walk. Lead off home run from Jana Johns. 1-0 pitch is up high, 2-0. Now this moment will be used for Millock, the catcher, to jog out and chat with Bradley here. Get caught up on some of our great sponsors like Walden Cleaners. Three generations of knowledge that ensure the highest in quality detergents and cleaning methods are used. Along with the most advanced equipment, Walden Cleaners and Laundry, but the difference is quality. And MidFirst Bank, a premier partner of OU Athletics and your exclusive home for the OU credit and debit card. Visit MidFirst.com slash Sooners for details. MidFirst Bank, true to your money. Two ball, no strike count. Meeting is over. Donahue digs back in. Sooners up 10-0. Runner at first. Nobody out. The pitch is in for a strike. Sooners have hit four more home runs today, two of those from Jana Johns. And they've hit 20 now on the weekend. Here's the 2-1 pitch to Donahue. Popped up into shallow right field. This could be trouble racing in, though, to make the play is Brookerson. And there's one away. And here's Grace Lyons. AT&T is the official 5G wireless network sponsor of OU Athletics. Blue Cross and Blue the Shield of Oklahoma three. proudly sponsoring Grace University of Oklahoma Athletics. We'll see if we can get that good mojo going again for Grace. She grounded out the third her last time up. She's hit the ball so well when she doesn't hit a home run, you almost stop and you think, what's, what's going on here? <laughs> She's been impressive. And she takes the first pitch for a strike. A single in the first inning. She was cut down on a fielder's choice by Kenzie Hansen. A home run in the second. Went back to back with Tiara Jennings. Kenzie Kelso waits on deck. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Hit well, but foul. And she's behind on the count. No balls and two strikes. O2 count here. Long look in by Bradley. Long look to the dugout by Milla. Grace is ready. The O2. Hard hit ball to second. Skips past Alani into right field. A base hit. Mendez on her way to third. She'll slide in safely. Lions will jog into second. 
It's a one-out single from Lyons, who will take second on the throw. A three-hit day for Grace Lyons. And here's Kinsey Kelso. And that might be it for Bradley. Ten zip Sooners were in the top of the fifth inning. This game very much in run rule territory. Let's see if this is going to be a pitching change or not. It doesn't have the look of it. Right now, though, I think if you're Abilene Christian, you just want to do what you can in order to try to survive here. <laughs> How about this stat from Patrick Dunn? The Sooners have hit, now, what's our 20 home runs this weekend? So through, well, almost three games now, the Sooners have already eclipsed the number of home runs that opponents hit off them last year. And not even three full games. How about that for a stat? Oh, wow, they ruled that an error. Oof. Patrick Dunn will go and argue and plead the case. See if they stick with that as the first pitch to Kelso is on the outside corner for a strike. Kelso is hitting in Hansen's spot. That, so th this is to kind of break down a fourth wall. You know, this is typically what happens whenever there's a tough call. The home team will score it, and then maybe you'll have a visiting SID that says, huh, what would you see there? Kelso swings through the 0-1 pitch. And maybe try to state their case that, hey, that should have been a hit, not an error. And sometimes after games, it might be a, a, a hitting coach or a pitching coach that says, why did you score it like this? So it's always kind of a fun back and forth, a good debate. The 0-2 to Kelso, a little up. One ball, two strikes. Lines is at second. Mendez is at third. There's one out in the top of the fifth. The Sooners lead at 10-0. Sooners have pounded out 11 hits in this game. And here comes the 1 2. Hard hit ball to short. It'll score Mendez easily. The throw to first. Yeah, got her at first. Nice play staying on the bag over at first base by Burris. The run scores to make it. 11-0 Sooners. Lions does advance to third. There's two away. For Jocelyn Allo, who has had an absolutely incredible day. She's two for two with a run scored and was hit by a pitch. Would not be surprised if she hit one over the mountain here. So the first pitch is high. Sooners had 28 hits in their 29-run explosion over UTEP in the opener. Just seven hits in their game last night in their 9-0 shutout of Abilene. 11 hits here. Lead at 11-0. Allo lines one just foul down the first baseline. The debates are currently ongoing. Will Lions... Line shot remain an error, or will it be changed to a hit? The error would be the first of this game. Neither team has committed one. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch to Jossie. Nearly hit her again. Two balls and a strike. We'll be back in action with a slated start time at 4 o'clock. But as we've learned, some of these first games, and their length can affect our start time. 4 o'clock is the slated first pitch. Here's the 2-1. In for a strike, 2-2. Two two. Oh, 
Alo strides in, a 2-2 pitch. The runner at third is Lyons. There's two outs. It's 11-0 Sooners. They're playing Jocelyn deep in every part of the field. The pitch. Out to bat. Two balls, two strikes. Riley Boone waits on deck. The pitch to Alo. Pop foul again. Jocelyn's having a nice at bat here. There is an area, I think you can see it if you're watching along on Soonersports.tv, beyond the left field wall where there's there's a road, and it doesn't look as far away as it actually is. Chassie put one on the road yesterday. It was a moonshot. Two two pitches low, ball three. A couple of fans were out watching. They, I think they felt like they'd be pretty safe most of the day, but they ended up getting about five or six solid balls hit their way. Only a couple out there to start the day. Fans, that is. Plenty of softball. Sooners have hit four home runs. The 3-2 pitch. Look out. That's foul. If there was a pitcher warming up in the Abilene Christian Doug in the bullpen, they'd be in big trouble right now. Three balls, two strikes. Alo's ready. Bradley's ready. The righty brings it home. Called strike three. Jossie knew it. And that'll do it for the Sooners in the fifth. They tack on two more and are three outs away from improving to 3-0 and on the season. 11-0 Oklahoma as we head to the bottom of the fifth. fifth we head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Sooners three outs away from a run rule victory here. Of course, leading by eight after five is a run rule win in college softball. So the Sooners have a little cushion here. And Alana Thede is in to pitch. It'll be Rudd, Adair, and Millock. And the first pitch from Alana Thede is in for a strike. Speaking of players with great perspectives... And great attitudes. Alana Thede, the sophomore out of Carlsbad, California, is definitely one of those. Fourth appearance in a Sooner uniform. Misses on the 0-1 pitch outside, ball one. She made her collegiate debut last year in Tucson, Arizona against Northern Iowa. Struck out one in an inning. Bouncer back to her. Alana gloves, turns, throws. Nice scoop at first by Elam. And there's one away. <laughs> she came in late against Washington last year. At Carlsbad High School in Carlsbad, California. The all-avocado first team while helping her team to the 2018 Western League Championship. Played with the... O.C. Batbusters, where she was teammates with Kinsey Hansen and Olivia Reigns. The O.C. Batbusters, there's a lot of Sooner representation from that squad. And the first pitch is inside 2-8 air. Alana Thede, 5'7 lefty. And there is one thing the Sooners have been on the cusp of that they haven't been able to accomplish yet this weekend. And with two more outs, Steedy can get him there, but she misses with a 1-0 just outside. The 2-0. Ooh, just misses low. Ball three. Eleven runs on eleven hits in. No errors for the Sooners. Zeros outside of the error category still for Utah. Here's the 3-0. In for a strike, 3-1. and one. 
Four more home runs for the Sooners today, including a two-home run performance from Jana John. Coming up in the Bud Light postgame show, we'll recap it all. Here's the 3-1. Little looper, diving catch made by Donahue. Two away. Mackenzie Donahue saw the little humpback liner dying, and she dove and made a fantastic play. Two away. And Avery Millick is the last number hope number for Abilene Avery. Christian. Millock digs in from the right side of the plate. Didi's first pitch, swing and a miss. John's at short, Grace Lyons at, pardon me, John's at third, Grace Lyons at short, Donahue at second, Elam over at first with Kelso behind the plate. The 0 1 pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. The all lefty outfield has stayed that way with Coleman in center, Boone in right, and Mendez in left. No balls, two strikes. Feedy with the Sooners on top, 11 0, brings it home. Line shot into left field, and no no is ended with two outs and two strikes again. <laughs> The Sooners have gone into the final inning of each of their first two games with no hitters and lost them with one out against UTEP and one out against Abilene Christian yesterday. And here on an 0-2 count with two outs, Millock gets the first hit for Abilene Christian. Wow. And here's Blakely Brookerson. Nearly beat out a ground ball her first time up, and she takes the first hit for a strike. Oh, we have so many cool graphics for a no-hitter to show you. Time is going to be called. And we're going to have a pinch runner for Abilene Christian. And they're going to go with... Donnell Johnson is going to pinch run here. In the game as a pinch runner, number nine, Donnell Johnson. So an 11-0 Sooner lead, and Donnell Johnson will pinch run. Left-hander Brookerson, four foot eleven. Behind on the count, no balls and a strike. That open stance deep in the box. She makes that strike zone tough. Athidi finds it. No balls, two strikes. The 0-2 pitch. Cold strike three. Win column Sooners. Game over. Make them 3-0 to start 2021. And again, the bats are the stars. Two home runs from Jana Johns. Four by the Sooners. And Oklahoma knocks off Abilene Christian 11-0.